بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سید عاقف شاہ لیکچر فائنانس ایٹ انسٹیٹیوٹ آف بزنس اسٹڈیز گوہاٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی دا ٹائٹل آف دس کورس از بزنس فائنانس اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ آف دس سبجیکٹ از بی ایس ون ہنڈریڈ ففٹی ون دس از اوور لیکچر نمبر تھرٹین دا ٹاپک for today's discussion is time value of money under which we will be discussing calculating present value of ordinary annuity basically this lecture is in the continuity of our previous lectures regarding time value of money however in this lecture we will be specifically discussing the present value numerical case calculations related with ordinary annuity so the outline of this lecture comprises of annuities under which we will be discussing the calculation of present values of ordinary annuities dear students after listening to this lecture you should be able to understand how to solve present value numerical cases related to ordinary annuity annuities concept in my previous lecture is has already been explained in detail that it is a series of equal payments or receipts occurring over a specified number of equidistant period and then there are two types of annuity one is known as ordinary annuity and the other one is annuity due in this lecture once again we will be discussing about the ordinary annuity but the calculation and the numerical cases under consideration will be related with calculating the present value of ordinary annuity as mentioned in my previous lectures the steps to solve the time value of money problems are to read the problem thoroughly and then create a timeline put cash flows and arrows on the timeline determine if it is a present or future value problem five determine if the solution involves a single cash flow and will stream or a mixed cash flows then solve the problem and finally you can use a financial calculator for a counter check that if you have calculated present or future value correctly or not so this is the basic point agenda of this lecture to calculate or to understand what is present value of ordinary annuity this is a general overview of an ordinary annuity in which we need to understand this timeline that a timeline zero it means that today you are going you means as an investor you are going to take an investment decision on this point in time that's why this is known as time zero or the current time period this i represents the compound interest rate which i have clearly explained in my first lecture on time value of money which you can go back and listen to it that what is simple interest rate and what is compound interest rate so you need to bear in your mind that this i represent compound annual interest rate this one depict that end of the year first this two represents end of the year two as it has already been mentioned and written over the timeline that cash flows occur at the end of the period because in the ordinary annuity case in case of ordinary annuities the cash flows occur at the end of the period whatever the period is either it is month the semi-annual or it is year in our case we have taken the yearly data therefore this the distance between 0 and 1 represents the start of first year 
in the completion of first year. This R represents the cash flow occur at the end of the period. This R represents the second year end cash flow and similarly up to N, whatever the number of time periods are given in the question. So R represents the periodic cash flow. In order to calculate the present value of an ordinary annuity, you need to understand thoroughly what the question is asking about and what the data is comprises of. For calculating the present value of ordinary annuity, once again we have three methods that is either to use the formula method or to use the tabular method and thirdly we can also use a financial calculator. The formula for calculating present value of ordinary annuity looks like this in an octagon shape it is present value of annuity if d is not mentioned it, it it represents the ordinary annuity and the subscripts n represents the number of period of this annuity if let's suppose the total number of period under consideration in this question is three then we need to mention three over here that you are going to calculate the present value of ordinary annuity which is comprises of three equidistance payment. This R represents the cash flows, periodic cash flows and this slash represent that you are going to divide this cash flows because I have already explained the present value phenomena or concept in my initial lectures over time value of money. So actually this represents your first cash flow at the end of first period is going to discount by 1 plus i raised to the power 1 because you are looking to discount this first year of cash flow to bring it back to the timeline 0 that is today's date or today time. This represents the today time period. You are going to take an investment decision which is going to pay you out I compound interest rate and you are just interested to find out the present value of the amounts you are going to invest in this annuity and it is going to pay you out 7% or 8% or 10% compound annual interest rate. So R divided by 1 plus I raised to the power 1 plus R divided by 1 plus I raised to the power 2 and if it is three year annuity case then r divided by one plus i raised to the power three only three and then you need to solve this simple mathematical expression and reach to a conclusion so this is a numerical based question in which student will be asked to find out the present value of ordinary annuity. Under this scenario, the question might be like that you as an investor looking to invest in an ordinary annuity which is asking you to deposit $1,000 at the end of each period for the next three years. This annuity will give you 7% compound interest rate. As an investor, you are required to find out the present value of this annuity. Like on timeline zero, you want, you, you want to know about the present value of this ordinary annuity in which you are going to invest $1,000 at the end of each accounting year. So, the first method to solve or to come up with this value of present value of ordinary annuity is to use the formula method. On our previous slide, the formula looks like this one. So, we can use this formula 
r divided by 1 plus i 1 plus i is 7 percent which needs to be converted into points by dividing it into 100 and it converts into 0 0.07 and then 1 plus i as written in our formula 1 plus i so 1 plus 0 0.07 is equal to 1.07 raised to the power 1 it means that you are going to discount this value for one year the amount you are going to pay out at the end of second year needs to be discounted two times so therefore raised to the power two and at the end of third year once again you are going to invest one thousand dollar so this amount is supposed to be discounted three times number one number two and then number three therefore we are uh, raising third power of this expression by simple mathematics you can discount these values and the first value come up 934.58 the second value come up 873.44 and the third value come up 816.30 by simply adding these three numerical values you come up with the present value of ordinary annuity which is 2624.32 so this is the method to calculate the present value of ordinary annuity with the help of formula now what does this 2624.32 dollars mean it means that the amount you are going to invest in this investment opportunity over the period of three years is actually worth $2,624.32 in today's date or today's time period these $3,000 which you are going to invest in this opportunity are equal to $2,624.32 now what does this mean in a practical sense present value of ordinary annuity makes you enable to compare different kind of investment opportunities available in the market let's say this was the first opportunity by the bank one offered to you another bank known as bank two offers you a similar kind of investment opportunity however the interest rate compound interest rate could vary from the bank number one and if after calculation the present value of that ordinary annuity which is which belongs to bank b or bank two come up with twenty seven hundred dollars let's suppose then you can easily compare these two banks bank one and bank two ordinary annuity opportunity with each other and your decision will be to select the bank two to invest your 1000 1000 and 1000 over the period of three years because these this uh, uh, this bank two is offering you the maximum return in terms of present value which is 2700 dollars so you can compare that which bank is offering you the best investment opportunity you are going to invest your money in that bank account remove these inks this was the method formula method with the help of which we can calculate the present value of ordinary annuity the second method to calculate the present value of ordinary annuity is with the help of table so over here table number four has mentioned now what does this mean you can go to the fundamentals of financial management book by Van Horn and at the end of the book in annexures you can find out table for the time value of money tables where you can find out the present value interest factor for annuity table this is present value interest factor for annuity so the formula to calculate the present value of ordinary annuity with the help of table is r r represents the periodic cash flows into present value interest factor for annuity 
under subscript i which is the compound interest rate and n n is the number of time periods so the given data in our case was one thousand dollar was the periodic cash flows you simply plug this one thousand dollar over here and then you need to find out the factor in this table so we have cropped the required table from the annexure which is over here in my previous lecture i have thoroughly explained how to find out the relevant factors in our question but once again simply speaking this this row represents the compound interest rate you need to find out the required interest rate available in the question and then you have to select the relevant column which is 7% in our case and then the number of time period this annuity uh, is a uh, support uh, is this annuity is asking you to deposit or it is uh, providing you either this is a receipts or payment entry so the number of time period this annuity will exist is three so therefore you need to find out the required year which is three in this case and then you need to find out the relevant cell where these two columns and row are intersecting so in this case it is 2.624 so the next third and last step is to put this amount pick up this value 2.624 and plug it into the present value interest factor under this formula so with the help of simple mathematical multiplication and addition you can find out the answer which is 2624 dear student the tabulation method is quite simpler and easier to understand but however there could be a slight deviation between the answer of uh, between the answer calculated via table method and the answer calculated with the help of formula so let's compare these two answer the answer uh, we reached with the help of a table method that is present value interest factor for a new table is 2624 let's go back to the previous slide in this case with the help of formula the exact answer was 2624.32 cents in dollars so we can see that the slight deviation of 32 cents between the formula calculation and the tabulation method is because of the rounding yes we can simply see that in this present value interest factor for annuity table we have rounded the values up to three decimal places and this is the main reason that slight deviation between the calculation with the help of formula and table will definitely come up but you are not uh, required to get confused or worried about this deviation both the answers are correct and both methods are all okay you are just required to read the question thoroughly and carefully because the question will definitely be asking you to use the table method or to use the formula method to calculate the present value of ordinary annuity. However, we can uh, make a conclusion over both methods that the formula is more precise than the table method. The third method which is more precise than these one is to counter check with the help of financial calculator which I have explained in my previous video you can simply go to the market purchase a financial calculator plug in the values and just simply press the enter button and you will get the answer so the most precise method to calculate present value of ordinary enmity is to use the financial calculator rank number two to use this formula method and finally the less precise however it's all okay to use the table method which is quite simple and easier method to calculate the present value of ordinary annuity. This was all about the calculation of present value of ordinary annuity. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture. Good luck for the day. If you have any question regarding the calculation of present value of ordinary annuity, 
you can simply post on the system KCMS and I'll be happy to answer your question. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.